Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the African night crawlers in the vermi bag Lil Mammoth. Now today we have something special for them. This is going to be the last feeding before I harvest. So today it is going to be a monstrous feeding. I'm going to try and get all of the worms to pull up and come all the way up to the top. Um, because I don't have it all the way full, they're not probably, you know, in one spot right now. Um, I haven't fed them for a little over a week. And let's see what we've got for a worm ball. I really wouldn't expect much of a worm ball just because it's been over a week since I've fed them. Just the uh, food that lasts a good long time. But look what they've done to that bedding. Um, I will try and put in a picture of how much bedding I added last time. But they are already zooming through the bedding, as would, you know we would expect with the uh, kind of worms that they are. They do love their bedding. But today, what they're going to get, as soon as we make sure we haven't got any leftover food, they're going to get probably the biggest feeding they've ever had. So I'm going to give them a stock pot full of food. Yep, all they've got left are their food that takes them forever to go through anyway, and some sprouts. Going to kind of dig down a little bit to see if there's anything we need to make sure that we get taken care of. So kind of doing a little bit of a deeper recon than usual here. Because believe it or not, I think next week, next video after this one, will be the first harvest on this. So I want to make sure I've collected up all of my food and put it up high so that the worms will want to come up higher and get away from the harvest zone. Which with African night crawlers is always kind of difficult anyway because they, they don't behave the same as the red wigglers or the European night crawlers do. But one can hope. I'm hoping that with a big enough feeding, even the African night crawlers will want to come up here and take a look. All right, so if you're looking at these, what you're seeing is the size of worm after about three years of being in a, a bin like this and just being fed table scraps. These are African night crawlers, but when I first got them, um, they were the size of a pencil. So clearly, you know, they are no longer the big, huge worms that they were. Um, and you can also tell these are not red wigglers and uh, blue worms. They don't even care that there's about 500 watts of, of light on them. They're not, they don't even care. And that's another uh, reason that I know that it's still almost entirely a pure African night crawler bin because of that very reason. That and I keep them on a completely different floor from the rest of the worms. So if they are commingling with the bins in the basement, they are partying like I, I was joking with one of the the watchers and, and, and said that, you know, sometimes when I end up with a worm from a different kind in a different bin, you know, I, I sometimes think it's like Toy Story the movie where, you know, when the people go to bed or leave the house, then they all get up and play and have a party. Uh, or not. So here comes the monstrous feeding. This is a stock pot full of food. Uh, these are uncooked. Got some oranges. Got some lemons. Let's see what all I've got in there. So this is four ears of corn worth of stuff, peppers, avocado, um, lemons bequeathed from the neighbors, um, onion peels, uh, a lot of turnip greens, and we're going to give them all of this food, and then I'm going to put some bedding on top. And hopefully, 
next week when I come in here to harvest this, they will all be busy on all of this food and will be away from the bottom of the bin. So I'm going to cover, try and distribute this a little bit more evenly. I should put the old food in there too. All right, and then I'm going to get them some bedding. This is my prepared bedding that's been sitting for a month or so now. It's junk mail, Amazon boxes, a little bit of coconut coir. And even though it seems like, oh my gosh, I'm filling up this bin, you saw how low this was, and I filled it up just as high the last time. Kind of getting the, the wet part out of the bottom. Make sure that there's enough moisture to keep everything going. Because this bin is upstairs with the air conditioner, it does uh, dry out a little bit more than the rest. All right, there we go. So this is the last feeding before the harvest. All right, guys, this was just a quick update. The real story will be next time when I do the harvest. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.